Hi there! Today I created a simple video for you on how to create template-driven forms with signals with a unidirectional data flow. We have a simple form with two fields, a first name and a last name, and a submit button. If we look at our HTML here, we can see that we have a simple form tag, we have two inputs for the first name and the last name. Let's have a look at our MyForm component. As you can see, it's still empty. There's nothing in here. And to use the forms, let's start with importing the forms module from Angular. So right now, this specific thing right here is an actual ng form behind the scenes. We will create a simple signal here. Let's call it form value. It's a signal of the type. Uh, let's call it purchase form model and we'll give it an initial empty object. So let's import it here. There we go. Whoops. We will not use the banana in the box syntax. We will just use ng model to ensure that we have a unidirectional data flow form value first name. And in here, it would be form value dot last name. Apparently, I've created the private one, so let's make it protected so we have access in our template. And right now, we have our form, but our form will not get updated for us. Let's create a small pre tag here where we show the actual form value. For that, we will need to import the JSON pipe. Pipe. There we go, our form is empty and does not work yet. So what we need is we need an actual reference to that form. And we can do that by using ng form here and connect it with a view child. We call it form and it's an ng form type ng form or and the find. So to get access to that, we need to implement the after view in a lifecycle hook. Public ng after view in it. And now we still have to import it, of course. And now we can say this dot ng form which created uh, a reactive form behind the scenes for us. So we can say dot form dot value changes v this dot form value v. Nope, we have to subscribe, of course. There we go, sets. So the form did not work because I forgot to add my parentheses here and here we can see that our form works. This is a completely template driven form. This has no boilerplate and it ensures a completely unidirectional data flow because the data flows in from our signal into the form and then we listen to the form and feed the signal again. The downside is we have some boilerplate. We have boilerplate over here. We have to implement after view init lifecycle hook and we have to do this. So what we want to do is we want to create this form directive, which will listen to the form tag. And here we will inject private read only ng form equals inject ng form self true. Now we want to add an output to this specific directive. At output, let's call it value or form value change. And we're going to listen to ngform.form.value changes. So every time the form changes, it will emit this specific output. So let's import this output in our form over here. And whoops, there we go. And now we can remove this because it will recognize this selector and we now have the form form value change 
equals form value set event. So I think we can now remove the after view in it. We can remove the view child. We can remove this over here. We can remove the imports. And we still have a completely template driven form, but behind the scenes, it's a reactive form. That was it for now. In the next video, we're gonna tackle a more complex form where we'll introduce view models for our template driven forms with signals. Stay tuned. I'm also creating a template driven forms online course. It's not ready yet, but it should be soon. If you're interested, you can click the link below and I'll gladly give you a 10% discount. Cheers.